Right, welcome back kids. You lovely people. So, as you can see, I've treated myself to a new chop saw. And I just wanted to make this little video because uh, I've been doing some metal work projects and uh, I decided that I've been a good boy this year. And as part of, as, as part of my Christmas treat to myself, uh, I decided to invest in this Evolution chop saw. This is the Evolution R355 CPS. Now, you'll have seen in a, one of my other little videos that I've got the baby brother version of this. So I've decided to upgrade to this bad boy. This is 355mm or 14 inch in old money. I presume that's the diameter of the blade. Yeah? TCT, I believe TCT stands for uh, tungsten carbide tip or tungsten carbide tip. That's the, the, the talk about the cutting teeth of the blade. It's multi material. This picture there shows you uh, copper pipe. It shows you metal uh, studding, what they use for petitioning. It shows you steel box section, which is what I've just been cutting on that uh, on that uh, rocket stove of mine. God, I, I, I really needed this for that. Timber, timber with nails in, and plastic and plumbing pipe. Now, if you're cutting dead square on a 90 degree dead square chop, it'll cut up to uh, uh, 120 mil, which is four and three quarter inches, which works out fine because the metal I was cutting was four inches, yeah? So that's that. Yeah, but what I want to mention first is this. Now, I'm not plugging anybody. I'm, plugging, I'm going to plug Evolution because these are fantastic tools. And don't get me wrong, they do another version of these, which are blue, which are, you know, probably five times the cost. Now, if I was a metalwork fabrication engineer, or I was using this kind of saw on a daily basis, then yes, you're going to have to invest in a considered purchase of one of them other saws. But I'm not. I'm a part-time, I'm a part-time uh, creator. I have all these projects on the go, and you know, you've got to have, you know, you can't do any projects if you haven't got the tools. And believe you me, this is a beast. But before I open it and show you, there's two things I want to say. First is this, I bought this from Screwfix, bear in mind, anybody watching abroad, you won't know Screwfix. Screwfix is a, a, a retail uh, tool shop. Uh, they've got branches all over the place, all over the UK, and they sell all, a load of major brands of tools, Evolution being one of them. Now they've just opened up a new store, not far from me, North Wales, in Carnarvon. And uh, I went in there because I needed some other bits and bobs, as well as this, I needed some other bits and bobs. So, they had a promotion of 10% off last Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So I thought to myself, right, can't grumble at 10%. I'm buying one regardless, but if you can get 10% off, even better. So I went in there and I ordered some stuff. Now, admittedly, two things. I'm not saying you can't get them cheaper anywhere else, but I don't think you can. But I don't think Screwfix stock this machine on the shelf, yeah? So if you're in the market for one, just double check with Screwfix, because this was delivered direct from Evolution themselves. Now I don't know where Evolution are based, but I ordered this and by the time I got home, I just got home, and the lovely lady phoned me. She says, bloody, bloody, blah, Sean. I says, that's me. You've ordered an Evo Evolution sword. I says, I have. She went, I'm going to get it dispatched today, and you'll have it ASAP. Happy days. 
Those are the kind of words I want to hear from a woman. Your saw's in the post. So, let me get it undone and we'll have a look. Right, we're back. Unpack the saw, job done. First impressions, beautiful, well made, solid. Nice big handle you can get your hand in, especially if you've got a glove on, yeah? Because obviously, when you're using something like this, you've got to wear a bit of PPE, personal protective equipment. But before I go any further, I've just read on the box, it just says it, just made me small, accurate, reliable, and powerful. I've decided that I might have that on my headstone when I'm dead. Good. Actually, that's a joke because I'm not having a headstone, but that's a different subject for another day. So, let's get back to this beast. That's what they should have called it. They should have called it the Evolution Beast. Because it's a beast of a machine. Look at that blade. So, first things first. It does come with an instruction book. I've had a little shufty. Read the instructions so you know what you're doing. It also comes with this piece of card that tells you about when cutting around a square tube or box section at 45 degrees, ensure that the rear fence is in positions two or three. It shows you a lovely job, Lee. It also comes, great, see, they're thinking, also comes with this, this little accessory which slides onto the jaws, which enables you to hold round uh, objects when to cut them. Beautiful. And then also, more importantly, it comes with the Evolution uh, guarantee. So, uh, a th I haven't got my reading glass on. I presume that's a three-year guarantee, register online. So I'm going to, later when I'm in the house, I'm going to log on and uh, register with them and register me tool. Beautiful. Which means I'll need the model and serial number or whatever. Now also, on there as well, it just says, if you need, if you need support, phone that number, 0114, I don't know what area that is, but uh, the lady I spoke, spoke to, she was great, so uh, fantastic. So, let's have a look at it. You'll notice when you get out of the box, you're gonna fit, if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna struggle to get this up. There's an actual lever there, you just press the blade down, lift it up, and that enables the, uh, the arm to rise, uh, raise itself up on its, uh, on its big torsion spring there. But what I want to show you first is this. Look at that blade. I'm impressed, I love it, I love it. And these, bla these blades last for ages, they do, yeah. So there's the blade. I'll tell you what, today it's a nice bit of heavy old piece of kit. There's the button there to, to lock the blade for when you want to take the blade out or alter it. There, lovely touch look. Nice Allen key. What size Allen key is that, Sean? Don't know, but who cares because you got it free. Uh, I presume that'll do that. That'll adjust the Allen set screws at the back to adjust the angle of the back fence. And I presume that might also fit the middle to undo the blade for when you come to change the blade. And then there you've got your nice big cast orange handle. Yeah, beautiful. And then as I say, this fence which helps you, I've got nothing round uh, to show you. Have I? No, not at hand. If you wanted to cut something round, uh, this slides on your fence and then that'll hold the round objects in position and that just slides onto there which for me is a lovely touch job done i love that so they've used the brains brilliant and then here's your uh here's your lead job done so there's only one thing to do let's plug it in and let's cut something Right, we're back. Everybody on every constru construction site in the UK will know what this is. This is, uh, uh, this is actually heavy duty, I think this is. 
41 by 41 slotted unistrut channel, common, common piece of uh, material on most major construction sites. So that's that. I've got it plugged in. I'm going to put some gloves on and I'm going to put my visor on. Let's cut this beast and see how she goes. Oh my life. Look at that. Smooth as silk, no burrs, absolutely. Look at that, perfect, absolutely perfect. And I know what you're saying, Sean, that's just a bit of Unistrut. So, blow that out there. Let me drop this in there. Let's open that up a bit. Let's give it some more of a test. This is old fashioned, very thick walled, heavy duty scaffolding. I mean, that piece weighs a ton, yeah. And I know it's gonna cut it because that was cut with its little baby brother, yeah. So I'm gonna put that in there like so, yeah. I'm gonna put that there like that, yeah. Let's see how she cuts that. Look at that. Look at the cut on that. Let's take that out. And that device there holds it perfectly. Look at the cut. Absolutely beautiful. And also dead flush and dead flat and level. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. So then, what can you say? Well, all I'm going to say is this. If you're in the market for a chop, oh, well, first of all, I've got this piece of timber lying around. I'm not even going to bother showing you cut the timber. Because if it's cut in Unistrut, like so, you can see how thick the wall is there. And if it's cut in every duty old fashioned steel, Scaffolding tubes like that. I mean that weighs a ton. That's thick. Look how thick the wall is. Yeah You know exactly how it's going to cut your timber and your plastic and your copper pipes. Absolutely fantastic. Now You've got this adjust adjustable uh, Rear fence so you can cut different angles and it's got angles on there. Yeah, so you know What more do you need? Perfect Perfect. As for the cost, I can't remember the cost. I don't know, I'm not gonna, don't quote me on it, but it was, uh, I'll put the price up, I'll put the price up on the screen here now because I can't remember exactly and I don't wanna tell you a price that's not. But whatever price I paid, that was the price, uh, that's, the, the price I'm gonna put up on the screen is a price advertised in the Screwfix screw catalog, yeah. Uh, and that's it. So that there is absolutely fabulous. The only thing to do is, is to take a photograph of the, the, uh, 
for serial number so I can register online later and put a shout out to Evolution and tell them if there's any other tools you want me to test for you that you want to send my way, yeah, feel free to do so because that there is worth every penny and more. So until then, you take care and if, I'm going to celebrate with a nice cup of tea. Happy days. What a beast. That's the only thing that's wrong. It should have the beast written on there. Because that's what it is. It's a beast. And I love it. I've fallen in love. Oh, I love you. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get the kettle on shore and celebrate with a cup of tea.